Planets in science fiction are fictional planets that appear in various media of the science fiction genre as story settings or depicted locations. History Before Galileo turned his telescope to the heavens, the planets of the solar system were not widely recognized as worlds, or places where a person could potentially set foot, they were visible to observers merely as bright points of light, distinguishable from stars only by their motion. In the system of Claudius Ptolemy Florida, c. 150, the Alexandrian astronomer whose works were the basis of all European astronomy throughout the Middle Ages and Renaissance, the planets were lights set into a series of transparent spheres turning around the Earth, which was the center of the one and only universe. Dante (1265–1321) in his Paradiso describes the ascent of his narrator through the spheres of the Moon, the planets from Mercury to Saturn, and thence to the sphere of the fixed stars and the heavens of the angels. Dante implies that the light of the planets is a combination of light imparted by divine will and the radiance of the blessed souls that inhabit the spheres. These planets are, however, entirely ethereal; they have light but no physical form and no geography. Ludovico Ariosto, in his epic Orlando Furioso 1513, jestingly sent his hero to a moon where everything lost on Earth eventually turns up, but it was not until Galileo discovered 1609 that the moon had surface features, and that the other planets could, at least, be resolved into disks, that the concept that the planets were real physical bodies came to be taken seriously. In 1543, Nicolaus Copernicus had already posited that the planets orbited the Sun as the Earth does. Combined, these two concepts led to the thought that the planets might be worlds similar to the Earth. Public expression of such concepts could be dangerous, however, Giordano Bruno was martyred in 1600 for, among other things, imagining an infinite number of other worlds, and claiming that innumerable suns exist, innumerable Earths revolve about these suns. Living beings inhabit these worlds. In De l'Infinito Universo e Mondi, concerning the infinite universe and worlds, 1584. At the time, such speculation was of a rather rarefied sort, and was limited to astronomers like Christian Huygens, who wrote a book, Cosmodoros, 1698, considering the possibility of life on other planets, or to philosophers like Campanella, who wrote in defense of Galileo. The concept of life on distant planets was not, however, much utilized in fiction. The most popular target of 17th century science fiction was the moon, visited in fiction by Kepler, Godwin, Cyrano, and Defoe. Oddly, none of these fictions made use of the lunar maps contemporaneously created by Hevelius, Riccioli and others. It was quite some time before such extraordinary voyages went beyond the lunar sphere. Eberhard Kinderman sent an airship to the planets in 1744 in Die Geschwind Reis auf dem Luftschiff nach der Obern Welt, the airship's speedy journey to the upper world. While a traveler from the star Sirius passes inward through the solar system, stopping at various planets in Voltaire's Micromegas 1752, followed by another outward voyage in Marie-Anne de Rumier Roberts' Voyage de Milord Satun dans les sept planètes, Lord Seton's voyage among the seven planets. 1765. These stories were generally unscientific and tended towards the satirical rather than the purely entertaining. Their subject matter was probably inspired by the popular writings of Fontanelli, notably his Entretiens sur la pluralité des mondes, Conversations on the Multiplicity of Worlds, 1686. With the rapid developments in the magnifying and resolving power of telescopes in the course of the 19th century, it finally became possible to distinguish surface features on other planets and even to draw maps of some of them, notably Mars. In 1877, Asaf Hall reported two moons of Mars and Giovanni Schiaparelli found the surface of Mars to be adorned with continents, seas, and channels, and a very suitable habitat for life. From the beginning of the 1880s, fictions, some more, some less scientific, involving travels to and from Mars began to be produced in great quantities, even though the observations of Percival Lowell required reassessment of Mars as a more marginal desert planet. Mars remained a favored destination for fictional travelers down to the early 1960s see Mars in fiction. Since probes revealed the absence of any indications of intelligent life on Mars, the science fictional Mars has changed to a possible future home for the human race, e.g. through terraforming. 
Venus was never quite so popular as Mars, probably because it obdurately refused to display any surface features it is covered with sulfuric acid clouds only dimly translucent to visible light, making any statement about its nature disturbingly speculative. In 1918, chemist Svante Arrhenius, deciding that Venus's cloud cover was necessarily water, decreed in the destinies of the stars that, "...a very great part of the surface of Venus is no doubt covered with swamps." and compared Venus's humidity to the tropical rain forests of the Congo. Venus thus became, until the early 1960s, a place for science fiction writers to place all manner of unusual life forms, from quasi-dinosaurs to intelligent carnivorous plants, and where hostile interactions with Venusian natives were reminiscent of European colonial projects in Africa and Asia see Venus in fiction. In fact Venus's surface is hot enough to melt lead, and it is extremely hostile to life. Various planets of the solar system were used as settings for science fiction stories in the first half of the 20th century, but dissatisfaction with the limits imposed by science led many writers early on to forsake the solar system for fictional planets around distant stars. As increasing knowledge of the solar system made the prospects of life in the vicinity of Earth marginal at best, the extrasolar planet has become almost the only venue for contemporary science fiction. In many works of science fiction, planets are only described casually, as points of origin and departure, or as interchangeable backdrops for space battles. This is particularly true of space opera. In other works, the planet takes center stage as the primary scene of events, and particular attention is paid to its environment and any culture that may exist on it. Adventure stories that stick to a single, well-described planet are sometimes called planetary romances, some of these planets are not very realistic and are effectively fantasy worlds. Planets may be treated in different ways depending both on the interests of the author and the genre he or she is writing in. In some stories, a planet is mainly considered as an object in space. The interest of the fiction depends upon its astronomical characteristics, such as its mass, its geological composition, its atmosphere, how many moons it has and what size they are, how close it is to its sun or suns, and how hot they are. Such considerations are found prominently though not exclusively in the hard science fiction genre. In other stories, a planet is considered as a world or setting. Such a planet will be described from the point of view of a person dwelling on it, rather than from the point of view of an outside observer. The fiction may describe its geography, its history, and the social and cultural characteristics of its civilizations. Since authors usually adopt human protagonists, such planets are typically described as very hospitable to human life and, other than in geography, nearly indistinguishable from Earth. Brian Stableford calls such planets, Earth clones. Conversely some fictional worlds are never more than marginally habitable, which has a profound effect on societies that developed or moved there. Numerous examples of this are to be found in the known space stories of Larry Niven. In some works of fiction, such as Purnell's Codominium or Card's Ender's Game series, certain planets are settled by specific ethnic groups. However, in novels set in distant futures, e.g. Dune, the inhabitants have usually forgotten about the original settlers. While some authors choose to treat a planet in depth, considering it to have a wide diversity of geography, climate, politics and culture, others prefer to characterize their planets by some single global characteristic. Many of these uniform settings have become stereotypes, used in a variety of science fictional works. Such stereotypes include, the planet covered by a single city, the planet whose surface is entirely desert, the planet covered by ocean, with no landmasses, the planet on which it is perpetually winter, the planet that is self-aware, and the planet which has been artificially constructed. Other planets appear in humorous or comical settings, sometimes spoofing more conventional science fiction. Such planets are often described with no pretense to scientific accuracy, their strange characteristics are primarily intended to amuse. For the Star Trek universe, a detailed planetary classification system has been devised, it is not actually used by scientists. Topic. Planet lists For planets from specific fictional milieu, use the following lists and categories Topic. Literature Alliance Union Universe Cherry Alliance Union Universe Hashtag Sentient Alien Species Clement, Hal, Hal Clement Codominium Purnell Codominium Cthulhu Mythos Lovecraft et al. 
Cthulhu mythos celestial bodies Dorsi Dixon planets of the chilled cycle Culture series banks list of societies of the culture setting Dune Herbert category Dune planets list of Dune planets Heinish cycle Le Guin planets of the Heinish cycle Enderverse card list of Ender's game series planets Foundation series Asimov category Foundation universe planets list of Foundation universe planets Heinlein Robert list of Heinlein planets Heritage Universe Sheffield Heritage Universe Hitchhiker's Guide Adams places in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Honorverse Weber list of locations in the Honorverse Humanx Commonwealth Foster list of Humanx Commonwealth planets Hyperion Simmons planets of the Hyperion Cantos Known Space Niven Known Space Lee bracket Solar System Lee bracket Solar System hashtag the worlds of Lee bracket Lensman series Smith Lensman Knights Dawn Hamilton Planets and Habitats of the Knights Dawn trilogy Noon Universe Strugatsky Noon Universe Minor Planets of Noon Universe Oikumin Vance Demon Princes Revelation Space Reynolds List of Revelation Space locations The Saga of Seven Suns Anderson Planets of the Saga of Seven Suns The Three Worlds Cycle Irvine The Three Worlds Time Quartet Langle places in the works of Madeline Langle Uplift Brin list of Uplift Universe planets Vorkosigan Saga Bujold list of Vorkosigan Saga planets category Vorkosigan Saga planets World War Colonization series Turtle Dove planets controlled by the race The Host Meyer Lorian Legacies Lorian and Mogador Topic Comics DC Comics category DC Comics Planets list of locations of the DC Universe hashtag Planetary Systems Marvel Comics features of the Marvel Universe hashtag Planets Sigilverse Sigilverse hashtag Major Planets Topic Film and Television Andromeda list of Andromeda star systems Babylon 5 Category, Babylon 5 Planets, Civilizations in Babylon 5, List of Locations in Babylon 5 Battlestar Galactica, Category, Battlestar Galactica Planets, List of Battlestar Galactica Reimagining Locations, 12 Colonies Blake's 7 List of Blake's 7 Planets The Chronicles of Riddick, The Chronicles of Riddick Planets Doctor Who, Category, Doctor Who Planets, List of Doctor Who Planets Fireball XL5 Fireball XL5 Planets Firefly – List of Firefly Planets and Moons Lex – Lex Planets, Fire and Water Lex. Star Trek – Category – Star Trek Planets, List of Star Trek Planets Star Wars – Category – Star Wars Planets, List of Star Wars Planets and Moons Stargate – List of Stargate Planets The Adventures of Sharkboy and Lavagirl – Planet Drool Topic. Animation Adventure Time – Land of U Exosquad – Exosquad Planets Sailor Moon – Sailor Moon Hashtag Planets Shadow Raiders – List of Shadow Raid Earth Planet Space Battleship Yamato – Space Battleship Yamato Planets Steven Universe – Homeworld Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles – Locations in Dimension X Thundercats – Thundera Transformers – List of Transformers Planets Topic Computer – Video Games Mass Effect – Mass Effect – Video Game – Hashtag Setting Fantasy Star – Algol – Fantasy Star – Hashtag Common Elements Warcraft – Warcraft – Series – Hashtag Location Lost Planet – Series – Hollow – Hollow – Video Game – Hashtag Setting Little Big Planet – Lots of Craft Earths and Craft Moons Minecraft, not so much a planet as an infinite world, with fictional and non-fictional minerals and biomes. Star Fox series Borderlands series F0 Topic Other games Dungeons and Dragons and Spelljammer List of Spelljammer Crystal Spheres Traveler Topic Other Bionicle Toy Line Locations in the Bionicle Saga Topic Planet Types For a more scientific approach to classifying planet types from Orion's Arm Non-Luminary World Classification Scheme CADRS Planetary Classification System The Topic Ice Planets Ice Planets have figured prominently in science fiction, such as Hoth, an ice planet 
featured in The Empire Strikes Back, or Gethin, an ice planet in the novel The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. An ice planet named Ficina is featured in the Star Fox video game series. Ancient Mesa ancient mare in the Japanese version is a venue in F-Zero maximum velocity. Its tracks includes the split and skating circuits. Another ice planet appears in the name of White Land in every other F-Zero games. Described as covered in crystals in the first game, its appearance in the anime F-Zero, Falcon Densetsu and the games based on this media shows ice and snow as the dominant features of this venue. Starkiller Base was originally an ice world in the Unknown Regions, until the First Order converted it into a superweapon that destroyed the New Republic. Topic lava planets Lava worlds can be seen occasionally in science fiction. In Star Wars, one such planet is Mustafar, with its heat caused by tidal forces from nearby gas giants. Mustafar scenes take place in Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. A lava world called Solar is also featured in Star Fox 64. A venue named Fire Field appears in the F-Zero franchise, where it is the last track of the King League in the first game. It is also notable for being one of the few venues to appear in every game of the franchise. The Pyronite homeworld in Ben 10 is a planet-like star called which has multiple active volcanoes. Excalbia is a planet with a mostly molten lava surface, featured in Star Trek, the original series episode The Savage Curtain. Silicon-based beings native to the planet Excalbians create a habitable Earth-like area on the surface. There, Kirk and Spock, along with replicas of Abraham Lincoln and Surik are pitted against replicas of four historical figures considered evil by the Federation. Ostensibly this is so that they can gain an understanding of the concept of good versus evil. <laughs> Ocean planets In BioWare's Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, Manan is an ocean world inhabited by the amphibian Selketh and source of the healing substance Kolto. The only area seen to protrude above Manan's ocean surface is Otto City, constructed by the Selketh to help with trade with the rest of the galaxy. In Olaf Stapledon's Last and First Men, Venus is presented as an ocean planet lacking atmospheric oxygen. It is home to a semi-intelligent form of marine life deriving energy from nuclear power rather than metabolism. These beings are exterminated and human beings genetically engineered into a flying species settle the planet. In C.S. Lewis' Paralandra, Venus is an ocean planet with floating islands. Stanislaw Lem's Solaris is a planet entirely covered by a sentient ocean. The protagonists in vain try to communicate with the ocean. Jack Vance's The Blue World takes place on a planet entirely covered by ocean. The survivors of a crashed prison ship make their homes on giant floating plants. The ocean is also home to giant, semi-intelligent squid-like predators. Camino in Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, an ocean planet inhabited by an indigenous sentient species. Thalassa in the Songs of Distant Earth, a novel by Arthur C. Clarke. The planet was settled by colonists from the Earth in the 28th century, who created a utopian culture. Hydros in the Face of the Waters by Robert Silverberg is an ocean planet populated by people who live on artificial floating islands. Earth After Melting the Polar Ice Caps in Waterworld by Kevin Costner an unlikely scenario under currently known parameters. Alpha, a planet orbiting Alpha Centauri in Foundation and Earth by Isaac Asimov, settled by remnants of the population of the dying Earth. Its only dry land is an island 250 km long and 65 km wide. Jonathan L. Howard's Rusalka Chronicles novels are set on the ocean planet Rusalka, named after the mythical mermaid by its Russian colonists. Shin Tethys in Charles Strauss's novel Neptune's Brood. The ocean is much deeper than any on Earth, making it only slightly more dense than Earth despite a greater radius. It is also younger than Earth, making its crust much richer than Earth's in uranium-235, the planet's major export. 2181 Despoina in Mass Effect 3, the hiding place of the Leviathans. Its ocean surface is littered with crashed and floating vessels, destroyed to keep the planet's inhabitants a secret. In the Star Trek, Titan novel Over a Torrent Sea by Christopher L. Bennett, the crew of Titan commanded by Capt. William T. Riker discover a water world inhabited by sapient squales, 
resembling cetaceans with tentacles, who use the other organisms in their environment as tools and are very fearful of anything artificial since they have never encountered metals or plastics before. The crew must learn to communicate with the squales to warn them to evacuate the region of a coming asteroid impact. Hal Clement's last novel Noise depicts a planet whose ocean is megameters deep. The Star Fox series video game has two ocean planets named Aquas and Zonis. The F-Zero video game franchise has a venue known as Big Blue and is said to have 99% of its planet covered in water. It is the second track of the Night League in the first game. In Interstellar, a fictional planet entitled Miller's Planet is depicted as an ocean planet with a thin water layer that faces constant giant 5,000 feet tall tidal waves that periodically sweep the planet's surface. In Sword of the Stars, Mer, the homeworld of the cetacean-like LIIR is almost entirely covered in water. Subnautica is a survival game that takes place on an ocean planet named 4546b. Much of the planet is a deep watered ecological dead zone supporting only planktonic life forms. The setting of the game takes place on the crater rim of a dormant, underwater volcano that is able to support one of the only concentrations of diverse life on the planet. Topic. Desert planets Topic. Mars as a desert planet Before, and certainly after, the results sent back by the Viking landers, some science fiction set on Mars portrayed it as a desert planet. Science fiction stories that do so include the anime series Cowboy Bebop repeatedly portrayed Mars as a prominent colonized world in the 21st century. It serves as a central hub for the solar system after Earth was left mostly uninhabitable following the Warp Gateway disaster. Lee Brackett's Martian stories, in which Mars is largely desert with sporadic oases of civilization. Larry Niven's Known Space novels and short stories including Eye of an Octopus and Protector, where water is completely alien to the biochemistry of the planet's inhabitants. Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles collection of short stories depict Mars as a mostly hospitable desert home to first an indigenous Martian civilization, who are displaced by an encroaching Homo sapiens population. The stories use a "'Cowboys vs. Indians' theme which benefits from the red desert backdrop of Mars. Kim Stanley Robinson's Mars Trilogy, where Mars is gradually terraformed from a frozen desert planet to a more hospitable Earth-like environment. Martian Time Slip, by Philip K. Dick, in which Mars has been colonized by Earth's UN, scarce water is closely apportioned, and the president of the Water Workers Union is one of the more powerful figures. The 2000 film Mission to Mars is about a difficult rescue attempt following a disaster during the first manned NASA voyage to this red wasteland that is Mars. Humanoid Martians are discovered to have once been native inhabitants, and the Cydonia Mense face formation is used as a major plot device. The 2000 film Red Planet is about a terraforming expedition from Earth to Mars gone awry due to voracious indigenous Martian insects. Earth's Australian and Jordanian deserts were used as filming locations. In the Star Trek universe, Mars is the first planet to be terraformed by the people of Earth, and by the 24th century, its orbital utopia Planitia shipyards are a key Starfleet facility. The Sands of Mars by Arthur C. Clarke. The Three Stigmata of Palmer Eldritch, also by Philip K. Dick, set primarily on Mars. Drafted colonists, such as those in the ironically named Feinberg Crescent region, relieve the bleakness of Martian life by huddling in hovels and taking psychedelic drugs. Total Recall, in which Mars is inhabited by mutants and laborers, and air is supplied at attacks. Topic: <laughs> Fictional desert planets. Other desert planets have been used as story motifs in fictional works. Topic. Alphabetical list Contains planets not found in the preceding lists. Topic. A Abydos, the first world that humans were brought to as slaves to the Goyud Ra. Aegis 7, the setting for the video games Dead Space and Dead Space, Extraction. Aralon. One of the twelve colonies of Kobol in the Battlestar Galactica universe, primarily an agricultural world. It was known as the Food Basket 
of the twelve colonies prior to the Cylon attack. Aldabra, a grassy planet in the Andromeda galaxy, which first appeared in Ben 10, Ultimate Alien. It is the home of the Geocaline Arios and Galapagos, one of Agregor's prisoners. Aldebaran minus four, from the ongoing series of graphic novels, Les Mondes d'Aldebaran, by Leo. Altair IV, from the movie Forbidden Planet, formerly inhabited by the mysteriously extinct race of Krell. Amel, Amel is a planet in the Frank Herbert novel The Godmakers, where all the religions of the universe coexist with no conflict under the ecumenical truce. Antar, the home planet of the alien human hybrids who are the main characters in the TV show Roswell and the book series Roswell High. Anus, the home planet of the gay black males in the Danish short film Gay Niggers from Outer Space. Arieka, setting of China Mieville's Embassy Town, where the titular human town lies in the middle of an alien city inhabited by a race known as the Arieke or hosts to humans born in the planet. Athena, a planet in Tom Godwin's space prison, aka the Survivors, and the space barbarians, claimed by the Jern Empire and colonized by Terran slave labor before being liberated by the Ragnarokans. Athos, exclusively male populated and homosexual planetary colony in Ethan of Athos, 1986, by Lois McMaster Bujold. Aurelia and Blue Moon. An attempt at theorizing what a habitable planet orbiting a red dwarf star and a habitable gas giant moon could actually be like. Origa. The dying planet home to the events of the Endless Legend video game. It is populated by many tribes that try to strive despite the winters becoming longer and longer. In the game Endless Space 2, it is completely frozen. However it is revealed a tribe of humans called the Vaulters managed to escape before the freezing thanks to a huge buried ship. Avalon, setting of the legacy of Herat and Beowulf's children by Larry Niven, Jerry Purnell and Stephen Barnes. Topic B Balaho, the Ungoy homeworld from the Halo series. It is located in the Tala system and orbited by Bawan and Padpad. Balibran, a planet in Anne McCaffrey's Crystal Singer series. Balibran is a toxic world where the inhabitants must form a symbiotic relationship with a spore in order to survive. Belzegar, a planet colonized by Earth, whose natives are the elephant-like Nildoror, in Downward to the Earth by Robert Silverberg. Big Planet, an enormous but not very dense planet, settled by Earth colonists and divided into a large number of colorful social groupings, in the novels Big Planet and Showboat World by Jack Vance. Botany, an Earth-like agricultural world to which prisoners and slaves are transported in the Kateni series by Anne McCaffrey. Bronson Alpha and Bronson Beta — planets that enter the solar system in Philip Gordon Wiley and Edwin Balmer's novel When Worlds Collide. Bronson Alpha collides with the Earth, destroying it. Bronson Beta is settled by survivors of the catastrophe in the sequel after Worlds Collide. Topic. C. Caprica. One of the twelve colonies of Kobol in the Battlestar Galactica universe, a lush blue-green Earth-like world that was regarded as the cultural, scientific, and technological capital of the colonies prior to the Cylon attack. Castiana, a planet from Stargate SG-1, known by the ancients as Taoth Vaklarush, was an ancient city that could hold the key to finding the Sangrail. Chiron. A planet, usually called, planet. Orbiting the star Alpha Centauri in the computer game Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Chorus. The main setting of seasons 11-13 of the Rooster Teeth series Red vs. Blue. Thon. The titular prison planet in Piers Anthony's novel Thon. Corneria. An Earth-like planet, from the Star Fox series. Home of Fox McCloud and the Star Fox team. Coruscant. A city-covered planet that is at the center of the Galactic Empire and homeworld of Jedi in Star Wars. Krek. A Sanghali mining colony from the Halo series. Cytine. A planet notable for its cloning research, from C.J. Cherry's Alliance Union Universe novels. Cybertron. Homeworld of the Transformers. From films, animated television series, and novels about the Transformers universe. Topic. D. Darkover. 
Marion Zimmer Bradley's Darkover series, Medieval Culture and Psi Powers. Darwin IV, Planet in the Art of Wayne Douglas Barlow. Death Wind, a planet featured in the first F-Zero game, aptly named for its endless windstorms. It is also the home planet of Pico, pilot of the Wild Goose. Dakuna, the homeworld of the Elcor from the Mass Effect series. It is located in the Fonti system. It is supposed to have incredibly high gravity. Duasac, the Jural Hane homeworld in the Halo series. Demeter, the destination of the crew of the Earth asterisk star Voyager. Deucalion, the setting of the novel Deucalion by Brian Caswell. Dosadi, the setting for Frank Herbert's novel The Dosadi Experiment. Downbelow, the planet in C.J. Cherry's novel Downbelow Station and Home of the Hisa. Dragon's Egg, not, strictly speaking, a planet, but a neutron star on which intelligent life develops in the book of the same name by Robert Forward. Topic. E. Eine, a moon orbiting the gas giant Chuo HD D in the YDO system in the Halo series. EMM Luther, a planet with a single continent, ruled by a theocratic government, in the novel Night Walk by Bob Shaw. Erna, a seismically active planet with psychically malleable quasi-sentient natural forces called the Phi in Celia S. Friedman's Coldfire trilogy. Erythra. Barren planet in Isaac Asimov's Nemesis novel. Eternia he man's planet in Masters of the Universe. Etheria Shiraz planet in Shira, Princess of Power. Topic F Far Away a planet in Peter F. Hamilton's Commonwealth saga which has been sterilized by a solar flare and is characterized by a triangle of stratospheric mountains. The alien known as the Starflyer originated here when a ship called the Marie Sick Celeste crashed on far away. Floston Paradise — planet in the movie The Fifth Element. Finisterre — a hostile planet in C.J. Cherry's Finisterre universe novels. Fiorina — Fury 161 — mining station penal colony on which Alien 3 is set. Fortuna — tropical planet from the Star Fox series inhabited by dinosaur-like creatures. Furia — home planet of Riddick as part of discussion and flashback in the Chronicles of Riddick. Topic G G889 — a planet 22 light-years from Earth in the television series Earth 2. Gaia — the first planet of the star Betelgeuse, inhabited by the Serene people in the Star Control computer game series. Gallifrey, the Doctor's home planet in the science fiction series, Doctor Who. Ganesha — an inhabited or at least habitable planet of the star Tau Ceti in L. Sprague de Camp's Viagans Interplanetarias series. Gehenna — the planet in C. J. Cherry's novel 40,000 in Gehenna and Home of the Caliban. Gibalb — the forerunner homeworld from the Halo series. Gore an inhabited counter-Earth in John Norman's Gore series, marked by slavery and rigid gender roles. Gorda — a planet circling Proxima Centauri, home of the hostile alien Furons in the video game Destroy All Humans. Garun — home planet of Mika, main character in the Slovak TV series Spadla Z. Oblikov. Topic H Havmork a twilight planet in Harry Harrison's novel Wheelworld. He — a planet sent out of its orbit by spin disease in James Blish's novels Earthman Come Home 1955 and The Triumph of Time 1958, collected in Cities in Flight 1970. Helgen — a planet of Alpha Centauri with a very hostile environment in the Killzone video game series. Heliconia — a planet orbiting a binary star in the trilogy of the same name by Brian Aldiss. On Heliconia, with a 3,000-year, great year, civilizations rise and fall with the change of seasons. Hesduros, a Sanghali colony from the Halo series. Hesikos, a high-eccentricity asteroid in Angus McVicker's The Lost Planet series. Hiagara, a lush planet in the homeworld video game, where the player must travel towards. 
Hoko Tate the home planet of Olimar, the main character in Pikmin and Pikmin 2. Hydros a water covered planet, whose population lives only on artificial floating islands, in Robert Silverberg's novel The Face of the Waters. I Irada a planet in Anne McCaffrey's Planet Pirates series, inhabited by both people and dinosaurs, and so also called Dinosaur Planet, the name of the novel in which it first appears. Ishtar a planet in orbit around three suns, whose northern hemisphere undergoes catastrophic heating every thousand years as it draws near to one of them. From Poole Anderson's novel Fire Time. Isis a planet of the star Procyon inhabited by an intelligent species resembling a cross between an elephant and a dachshund in L. Sprague de Camp's Viagens Interplanetarias series. ISZM — a planet in Jack Vance's novel The Houses of ISZM, a world on which bioengineering of plants is the dominant technology form as opposed to mechanical engineering on Earth. Houses on ISZM are trees with room-sized pods, all furnishings are integrated as part of the growth. Urk, the homeworld to the Urkern race, a highly self-praising militant alien race from Invader Zim. It is also Zim's homeworld. J Janjur Kam — the Sanshum homeworld from the Halo series. It is orbited by Plan. Junk A planet in Transformers formed out of clumped together garbage and home of the Junkians. Topic. K Kalaro — a Kig Yar interplanetary colony from the Halo series. Kurava — a Sanghali colony from the Halo series. Kerbin — the home planet of the Kerbals in Kerbal Space Program. Karak — a desert planet in the game Homeworld, destroyed by an enemy race after space travel is developed. Kobea a fictional planet invented by Christian Vander, the leader of the French Zool band Magma. Kobol a planet in the Battlestar Galactica universe. K Pax a utopian planet in the novel and film of the same name, which is quite possibly the delusional invention of a madman who claims to be from the planet. Cranker the home planet of the supervillain Phantom in the Japanese television series Planet Prince. Cregan an Earth-like planet orbiting Antares, in Kenneth Bulmer's Dre Prescott series. Krishna — a planet of the star Tau Ceti inhabited by warlike humanoids, the main setting of L. Sprague de Camp's Viagens Interplanetarias series. Krull — sword and sorcery-themed world from the movie of the same name. Kulkulkan — a planet of the star Epsilon Eridani inhabited by intelligent dinosauroids and Earth colonists in L. Sprague de Camp's Viagens Interplanetarias series. Kulthia — principal planet in the Shadow World role-playing game. Kyrian — constellation JR-24 planet featured in Valyrian and the City of a Thousand Planets, housing an access point to an extra-dimensional bazaar named Big Market. Topic. L Lagash — a planet in the story Nightfall by Isaac Asimov, in a globular cluster, and in a system with six suns. The orbit of the planet is such that all sides of it are almost always illuminated by at least one sun, only once in every 2049 years is Lagash oriented in such a way that one of the suns is eclipsed by a dark companion body. Only at such times are the stars visible from Lagash's surface. In the novel developed from the short story, the planet was called Kalgash. La Maytel — a dying planet whose orbit changes drastically once in a millennium, the home of Queen Prometheum and her daughters in the manga and anime of Leiji Matsumoto. Lamarckia — a planet in Greg Bear's novel Legacy, whose continent-sized superorganisms mimic Lamarckian evolution. Land and Overland — Twin planets revolving about a common center of gravity, sharing a common atmosphere and connected by an hourglass-shaped atmospheric tunnel. The setting for Bob Shaw's The Ragged Astronauts, The Wooden Spaceships and The Fugitive Worlds. Travel between the two planets occurs by hot air balloon. Lyra — home of the amphibious Lyrans in the Animorphs book series. Lithia — a planet peopled by an alien species with a well-developed natural ethics but no form of religion, in James Blish's novel A Case of Conscience. 
Little Big Planet Planet featured in the video game franchise of the same name. Lumen the planet of light in the British puppet TV series Space Patrol. LV 223 the moon featured in the 2012 Ridley Scott film, Prometheus. It is part of a larger system of otherwise unnamed moons orbiting a likewise unnamed planet, and hosted the advanced race known as the Engineers, which, according to the film, were precursors to the human race. LV-426, or Acheron, the planet on which the derelict ship and its deadly cargo are found in the movies Alien and Aliens. LV-1201, planet in the Aliens vs. Predator 2 video game. Topic M. Macbeth, mineral-rich planet from the Star Fox series. Mathrillion, the capital of the forerunner Ecumene from the Halo series. Magrathia, from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, a planet home to the world-building enterprise of the Magrathians. Majapur. A large planet which is the setting for a science fantasy series by Robert Silverberg. Malarok. Also known as Decided Heart. It is a Sanghali base world from the Halo series. Medea. Harlan Ellison's worldbuilding project. Majer and Tarak. Warring planets in the anime Vandred. Majer is populated entirely by women, Tarak entirely by men. Melancholia. A rogue planet that collides with Earth in the 2011 film Melancholia. Metaluna. A war-torn planet visited in the 50s B-movie cult classic This Island Earth. Medkemia. Planet on which the events of the Rift War books of Raymond E. Feist take place. Miller's planet. Ocean planet orbiting Gargantua in interstellar. Minerva. Earth-like planet occupying the orbit of Mars in the alternate universe of Harry Turtledove's A World of Difference. Myron, the homeworld of Bleep, Blink, and Twink in the British children's series Bleep and Booster. Mist Flow is featured in the F-Zero GP Legend and F-Zero Climax games as a planet completely covered in fog, obstructing the field view of the racers. Mobius, the home planet of Sonic the Hedgehog and other characters from the franchise in the Sonic the Hedgehog animated series, Sonic Underground, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and the Sonic the Hedgehog comics from Archie Comics. In the Archie comics, Mobius is described as being a post-apocalyptic version of Earth, and is known to have several counterparts in alternate dimensions, including the mirror universe Mobius. In various Sonic media, Sonic's home planet is typically either Earth or an unnamed alien planet. Mongo. The planetary setting for the Flash Gordon adventure comic. Mortax, Northray and Kartu. Planets named in the television series War of the Worlds. Mortax, a planet orbiting a dying star in the Pleiades, is a paradise planet, the homeworld of the aliens invading Earth. Morthray, first mentioned in the second season, may be another name for Mortax. Cardu is another planet in the same system as Mortax, inhabited by a different species. Mulokt, a Kigr interplanetary colony from the Halo series. Mull, constellation QN34 planet featured in Valyrian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Topic. N Naker — a planet populated primarily by fungi, including an intelligent variety, from Piers Anthony's novels Omnivore, Orn and Ox. Namek — the homeworld of the Namekians from Dragon Ball Z it is eventually destroyed after the battle between Frieza and Goku. New Amazonia — matriarchal and primarily homosexual planetary colony in Carnival 2006 by Elizabeth Baer. New Earth Planet Bob, the Earth-like planet created in the Titan A animated movie. New Terra In the computer game Outpost 2, New Terra is the world chosen by humanity as its last hope for survival, colonized by the last survivors of Earth in Starship Conestoga. Nibiru Also known as Planet X Niter A cloudy, oceanic planet in stories by Robert Silverberg and Randall Garrett. Nile an additional planet of Earth's solar system, due to a flaw in space, the planet is invisible except at close range, although it can see most of the other planets. The inhabitants attempt to conquer Earth during the 30th century. From the novel Beyond the Spectrum by Martin Thomas. NIRN NIRN is the name of the planet where the Elder Scrolls games are set in. Nessus 
Nessus, a planetoid location in the video game Destiny 2, based on the below centaur O Oa the living planet — a sentient planet in the Amalgam Comics series. Omega — a prison planet where one of the only ways to get ahead in society, or survive, is by committing murder and other crimes. From Robert Sheckley's The Status Civilization. Omicron — a Cybertronian colony from the Beast Wars series. Protoform X who was later to become the Predacon warrior Rampage is stated to have committed mass murder on the colony, possibly wiping nearly all of its population out single-handedly. Next to nothing else is revealed about this world. Omicron Per Se 8 Homeworld of the Omicronians LRRR and NDND from the television show Futurama. Optera. The homeworld of the Invid in the anime Robotech. Ormazd. A planet of the star Lalandi 21185 inhabited by humanoids organized into female-dominated hive societies in El Sprague de Camps Viagans Interplanetaria series. Orth — a post-Holocaust planet that has reverted to a quasi-medieval way of life, in Mary Gentle's Golden Witchbreed and Ancient Light. Osiris — a planet of the star Procyon inhabited by a space-facing dinosauroid species in El Sprague de Camps Viagans Interplanetaria series. P Palamuk — it is the Yanmei homeworld from the Halo series. It is located in the Nepre system and orbited by Naxic, Kaamoti, Oku and Kami. Pandarv a living, sentient planet, considered to be a goddess, in the Storm comic book. Pandora, a so-called treasure planet, featured as the setting of the 2009 video game Borderlands. Perdide, a planet that serves for much of the setting of the 1982 French animated science fiction movie Les Maters du Temps Time Masters, by René Lalo. Peaceland, home planet of the Sakamori family who fled to Earth after it was destroyed, in the 1973 Japanese TV series Ryusei Ninjin Zoon Meteor Man Zone. Pern, a planet pelted by a deadly spore called Thread, capable of eating anything but rock and metal, for periods of 50 years every two to four centuries in Anne McCaffrey's Dragonriders of Pern novels. The people of Pern live in caves or stone houses and ride genetically engineered flying reptiles dragons capable of incinerating the spore in mid-air. Petebi, a living planet, becoming sentient, in Anne McCaffrey and Elizabeth Ann Scarborough's Petebi series. Faragos, a fantasy planet in the Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game. Picone, one of the twelve colonies of Kobol in the Battlestar Galactica universe, the colonial military hub and the colony primarily responsible for building Battlestars and other ships prior to the Cylon attack. Planet Lucy, an uninhabitable planet orbiting the Big Nothing, which becomes inhabitable after a billion years, in the 2015 hard sci-fi movie, The Big Everything. Planet of Blue and Red, a Sanghaley colony from the Halo series. Planet of Rat, a planet the character New Rat City offers to take the player in the 2012 Twine game Rat Chaos. Planet X, a planet of indeterminate location that is the sole known source of Illudium Fostex, the shaving cream atom, in the 1952 Mary Melody's sci-fi parody Duck Dodgers in the 24 and a half century. Planet X, an inhabited planet of unknown location in the Tom Swift Jr. Juvenile Tom Swift and the Visitor from Planet X 1961. Planet X, a planet, light years away, ruled by the tyrant Kurgo, the master of Planet X in Fantastic Four No. 7 October 1962 and Episode No. 9 of Fantastic Four 1967 TV series. Planet X, a fictional world beyond Pluto that appears in Invasion of Astro Monster aka Monster Zero aka Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. The planet is largely barren on the surface, with extensive underground tunnels and advanced technology, which has little water, a fact which causes its people to attempt to invade Earth using first King Ghidorah, and later Godzilla and Rodan as mind-controlled weapons. The planet's populations are depicted as largely despising human emotion, violators of this taboo are summarily executed. The members of the species that had made their way to Earth appears to have been simultaneously destroyed when the leader of the civilization activated some form of self-destruct mechanism. It is suggested at the film's end that the planet still exists and that there is still a remaining population present there. 
An alternate version of Planet X reappears in the video game Godzilla, Monster of Monsters for the Nintendo Entertainment System, depicted as fully mechanical, and having brought together a legion of space monsters with which to invade Earth. The planet's inhabitants leave it behind when Godzilla, Mothra, and the forces of Earth successfully defeat their armies and monsters. A third version of the people of Planet X, potentially from yet another version of Planet X appear in the video game Godzilla, destroy all monsters melee, calling themselves the Vortac, and appearing virtually identical to their movie incarnation. They again take control of a force of monsters which the player, in the form of the only monster not successfully placed under mental control of the Vortac, must defeat. Polyphemus and Pandora, a gas giant and its inhabited moon in the film Avatar 2009. Pop Star, a planet shaped like a five-pointed star that serves as the main setting of the Kirby series. Prismos, a planet orbiting three stars in the cartoon Visionaries, Knights of the Magical Light. Pyrrhus, an inhabitable planet whose ecosystem, consisting of psychic plants and animals, seems to be unremittingly hostile to human life. From Harry Harrison's Deathworld trilogy. Topic R. Ragnarok, a planet in Tom Godwin's space prison, aka the Survivors, and the space barbarians. Ragnarok's inhabitants suffered from high gravity, temperature extremes, hell fever, unfriendly wildlife such as prowlers and unicorns, and a dearth of natural resources. Reach, a human colony in the Epsilon Eridani system in the Halo video game series. Regis III a planet populated by evolving machines in Stanislaw Lem's novel The Invincible. Remulac a planet from the Saturday Night Live skit, Coneheads. Requiem, an artificial planet constructed by the ancient forerunner in the Halo game series. Reverie a planet with extreme social division between the haves and have nots, in Bruce Sterling's The Artificial Kid. Riverworld the title planet of Philip Jose Farmer's Riverworld series, where all humans in history are reincarnated along a spiral river. Roshaworld a pair of twin planets that almost touch in the book of that name by Robert Forward. Rosetta, home planet of Rosemary and Takeshi Shishido, who fled to Earth when it was invaded by the Black Star Army, in the 1979 Japanese TV series Hono no Chaojin Megaloman, Megaloman, Superman of Flame. Rubanus, a megalopolitan planet plagued by constant traffic congestion, appearing in several volumes of the French comic book series Valerian and Loreline, particularly in the Circles of Power. Rylos, planet along with Earth, defended by Alex Rogan in The Last Starfighter. Rin, an Earth-like planet in Edmund Hamilton's novel The Haunted Stars. Orbits the star Altair, was once the center of an interstellar empire, and is now mostly covered in a forest of once domesticated trees. Topic. S Sefinkel also known as Joyous Exaltation in the Halo series, it is in the Salia system and orbited by Malhium. Sangelios the Sanghali homeworld from the Halo series. The planet orbits Ors in the Ors Fide Jori system and is orbited by Kikost and Subin. Sangre a planet ruled by a cannibal elite in Norman Spinrad's The Men in the Jungle. Sartorias Delas an Iron Age magical planet on which most of Sherwood Smith's stories take place. Soria a planet in the video game Star Fox Adventures, where Fox McCloud meets Crystal, revisited in Star Fox Assault, where Fox and Crystal meet up with a fully grown Prince Tricky after Team Star Fox clears the area of the Aperoid Menace. Also called Dinosaur Planet. Cecilia a fictional planet in Raystorm. Siren, a planet where 90% of the population is women. Sarah, a once glorious civilized world devastated by wars in Gears of War. Shakasta, Doris Lessing's Shakasta, cosmic consciousness. Shora, Joan Slonczewski's A Door into Ocean, waterbound culture. Skaro, a fictional planet home to the Daleks, Khalids, and Thal's Doctor Who. Silence, a venue in the F-Zero franchise known for being a soundless planet. Its track is the last course of the Night League in the first game. Smoke Ring. Not a planet, but a habitable gas ring around a neutron star in Larry Niven's novels The Integral Trees and the Smoke Ring. Solaris. 
a planet covered by a single sentient organism in the book of that name by Stanislaw Lem. Soror, the planet of the apes, in the book of that name by Pierre Boulle and the related films and television shows. Space Base Bulamanka, an Australia-like planet where a LARP version of Squid Tac Toe is played from three two one penguins. SR388, home planet of the Metroid in the eponymous series. The heroine Samus is sent there to exterminate the Metroids in Metroid 2. It is later revealed in Metroid Fusion that the Metroids were created to eliminate the X, a metamorphic parasite, even more dangerous than the Metroids. Stragos, the planet on which the games Quake 2 and Quake IV take place. Soon. The homeworld of the Rachni from the Mass Effect series. It is located in the Mascom XUL system. Soon is tidally locked. Sirkesh. The homeworld of the Solarians from the Mass Effect series. It is located in Prana's system. Sirkesh is described as being covered in thick jungle. Cinnabaz, featured in F-Zero Maximum Velocity as a venue shrouded in mystery. This giant marsh is the home of an old aristocratic, enigmatic society. Its tracks includes the explosive and championship circuits, the latter of which is unique as it is the only track in the game where the player can save a ghost as well as a replay. Topic. T Takis — the home planet of Dr. Takian. Talon IV — planet from Metroid Prime. Once home to the ancient Chozo civilization, now inhabited by Space Pirates mining operation. Tanis — destination of the sleeper ship Elysium in the film Pandorum. Targ — the planet on which the computer game Mercenary and its sequels take place. Tay — a gas giant planet with a solid surface from the Halo series. It is the homeworld of the Lekgolo. Tay is located in the Sphere system and orbited by Rantu, Rentus, Utua and 22 other satellites. Tengchen — the home planet of extraterrestrials in the series and movie Alien Nation. Terminus is a planet at the edge of the galaxy in Isaac Asimov's Foundation series, home of the Foundation later capital of the Foundation Federation. Thalassa a watery planet colonized by Earth, and revisited by a ship traveling to the planet Sagan II in Arthur C. Clarke's novel The Songs of Distant Earth. THRA. The world of the Dark Crystal. The third planet from the Black Hole, a fictional world mentioned, though not seen, in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla in 1974. The planet is home to a form of ape-like creatures which can take on a disguise to resemble humans that typically fades after death. The planet is slowly being sucked into a black hole, which forced their species to attempt to conquer Earth by the use of a mechanical doppelganger of Godzilla, Mechagodzilla. They return in 1978's terror of Mechagodzilla having reconstructed the machine and enlisting the aid of a scientist whose daughter they saved in order to gain the services of a massive kaiju named Titanosaurus, in an attempt to defeat Godzilla and finally begin their invasion of Earth as their own world is now in critical danger. Their fate is left ambiguous after Terror of Mechagodzilla. An alternate version of the species appears in the Dark Horse comics run of Godzilla, with similar intentions for the conquest of Earth and for similar reasons. In the comics, they help to develop Cybersaur a Mechagodzilla stand -in, and the Alterantula, a spider-like mecha. Both were designed for the purpose of battling Godzilla, whom they perceived as their greatest threat to conquest of Earth. Thessia — the homeworld of the Asari from the Mass Effect series. It is located in the Parnitha system. Thessia is rich in the fictional resource element zero. Thor — a planet of the star Epsilon Eridani inhabited by an intelligent native avian species and Earth colonists in El Sprague de Camp's Viagans Interplanetarius series. Thoth — a planet of the star Procyon inhabited by a species of anarchic, bisexual, teddy bears in El Sprague de Camp's Viagans Interplanetarius series. Tiamat an oceanic planet whose sun orbits a black hole, socially divided into two moieties summer and winter, ruled by a queen with abrupt changes in social conditions every 150 years. From Joan D. Vinge's The Snow Queen. Tyrol. The homeworld of the Robotech Masters in the anime Robotech. Titan. The setting of the fighting fantasy gamebooks, not to be confused with the Saturnian satellite Titan. Torments. A planet orbiting Arcturus in David Lindsay's novel, A Voyage to Arcturus. Tralfamador 
a planet populated by the phlegmatic Tralfamadorians in the works of Kurt Vonnegut. Tran, the main setting of Jerry Purnell's Janissaries series. Tranai, the utopian planet from Robert Sheckley's novella A Ticket to Tranai, where very unorthodox methods, such as legalizing street robbery and granting each citizen a right to murder the planet's president, are practiced to maintain a free society. Trantor is a planet in Isaac Asimov's Foundation series and Empire series of science fiction novels. Tristane, a planet in Nina Allen's novel, The Rift Chai the sole planet of Carina 4269, 212 light years from Earth, slightly larger than Terra and populated by three alien races, one sentient native species and various human races, as described in Planet of Adventure by Jack Vance. Tuchanka — the homeworld of the Krogan from the Mass Effect series. It is located in the Aerolock system. Tuchanka is predominantly desert as the result of a nuclear winter. Tavau — an asteroid in the Wideo system. It is the home of the Tavauan Kigr skirmishers from the Halo series. Twin Sun — a planet lit by two fixed suns, both fixed relative to it, in the Little Big Adventure computer games. Twin Sun has three climates, the poles are hot and desert, the equator is cold and arctic, and between them lie temperate lands. U Ulgathan — a Sanghali colony from the Halo series. Ultron — the home planet of Thermomen from My Hero Unicron V Valinop — a Kigr interplanetary colony from the Halo series. Vecta — setting of the video game Killzone. Vegeta — home world of the Saiyans in Dragon Ball Z before being destroyed by Frieza Venom — a harsh decaying world from the Star Fox series. Vinya — setting of many of the Yoko Suno graphic novels. Vishnu — a planet of the star Tau Ceti inhabited by two primitive intelligent species, the ape like Romeli and the centaur like DZ Lieri, in El Sprague de Camp's Viagans Interplanetarias series. Villignar setting of many books in the Acorna series. W Wait your turn a planet inhabited by vacuum cleaner like aliens from 3 2 1 penguins. Water O — the water-covered planet from the cartoon series Tigersharks. Wurlorn — a wandering planet that is the setting for George R. R. Martin's novel Dying of the Light. Wormwood — in the role-playing game Rifts, a chaotic planet in another plane. Wormwood is alive, and its inhabitants can draw on its life force. Z Zahir, a hollow planet appearing in the comic book series Valyrian and Loreline. Zarathustra, the setting for the fuzzy books of H. Beam Piper's Turo Human Future History. Zarkon, home planet of Philo, TV station engineer in the film UHF. Zavron, home planet of the Zavronian aliens in the ABC TV sitcom The Neighbors. Zebes, a planet from the Metroid series that was once home to the Chozo bird people but now home to the space pirates. Zelich, a planet covered by a thick layer of gas clouds above a sea of lava in the computer game Little Big Adventure 2. Vegetation and civilization occur only on mountains rising above the cloud layer. Zeist, a planet that is the origin of the immortals in the movie Highlander 2, The Quickening. Zilikian, a counter-Earth in the Bunduki series by J. T. Edson. Zergen, a planet ruled by the galactic law enforcers. In novels by Robin Klein, adapted as a television series. Topic: Other lists. Topic: Parallel Earths. These planets are identical or nearly identical to Earth physically, but have a history that differs to some degree from that of our Earth. Strange Real, from the Ace Combat series, featuring different countries and continents. Terra Obscura — in the Terra Obscura comic book. Topic. Planets of the Solar System 
Solar system in fiction, real planets of the solar system have that have been utilized or characterized in a variety of fictional ways e.g. Edgar Rice Burroughs' Barsoom, a fictional version of Mars. Fictional planets of the solar system, planets said to be located within the solar system that, in reality, may not exist, do not exist, or have never existed. Artificial planets Some writers, scientists and artists have speculated about artificial worlds or planet equivalents. These planets include Dyson Sphere — Freeman Dyson Gia — John Varley Globus Cassis — Christian Waldvogel Hegira — an artificial planet in the novel of the same name by Greg Baer. Kobold an artificial environment made by the protector Jack Brennan in the novel Protector by Larry Niven. Obelisk Planet. Stargate Universe. Onyx. A forerunner created shield world which is the main setting of the novel. Orbital the culture from Ian Banks. Culture. Series, 10 million kilometer rings which spin to simulate gravity and orbit a star like a planet. Pendor. Elf Sternberg. Planet X. An artificial planet in the video game Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters 1989. Ringworld. Larry Niven. Septera. A planet with seven layers of floating continents. From the video game Septera Core. Shell World culture planet-sized objects which contain many layers of concentric shells, each of which is a habitable environment with a complete atmosphere. Heat and light provided by fusion reactors attached or rolling across each ceiling. Strata, a novel by Terry Pratchett, includes an unnamed artificial flat world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic planets. Some invented planets have physically impossible shapes and may be regarded as fantasy worlds. Discworld, a flat disc-shaped planet. Supported on the backs of giant elephants riding on a turtle, in Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. World of Tears. A planet-sized step pyramid with a different environment on each step, in Philip Jose Farmer's book series of the same name. Topic. Comic planets These planets are not so much carefully constructed worlds as they are humorous backgrounds or gag references in various comedy shows and games. Arizon, a prison planet featured in the comic novel Bikini Planet by David S. Garnett. It is colloquially known as Clink. Dave and Alvin, twin planets in solar orbit beyond Pluto on the TV show ALF episode number 24, Weird Science. Druidia. Home of the Druids, ruled by King Roland and Princess Vespa in the film Spaceballs. Freling — Zadavia's and Optimata's homeworld in the animated series Lunatics Unleashed. The name is an homage to animator Frizz Freling. Gordon — a planet visited in the British claymation series Rex the Runt. All the inhabitants of the planet are sapient plant pots who are all called Gordon, with the exception of one named John. The planet is referenced frequently but is never actually seen. Hideaway — an entertainment planet, appearing in the comic novel Bikini Planet by David S. Garnett, and briefly in the precursor novel Stargonauts. H. Trey, a version of Earth in which everything is backwards, in the sci-fi television comedy Red Dwarf. Jupiter II, a planet mentioned by name in Spaceballs. It is mentioned as being close to Druidia, but it is not actually shown on screen. Kuzbane, a mysterious planet full of weird aliens, encountered several times in the television puppet comedy The Muppet Show. Kukurakabu, a scaling ellipsoid planet from the Philippine comedy fantasy series, Koki at Ako. It is populated by the Kokorakabukan race. Markler, a planet that appeared in four episodes of the animated television series South Park, most prominently in Starvin Marvin in Space, where all nouns are replaced by the word Markler. Melmac, the home planet of the alien Gordon Shumway in the television situation comedy ALF. Ork, the home planet of the humanoid alien Mork in the television situation comedy Mork and Mindy. Planet X, the women-only planet of Queen Zombina in the parodic musical Zombies from the Beyond 1995. 
Planet X, the source of Illudium Fostex, the shaving cream atom, in the 1953 animated short comedy film Duck Dodgers in the 24 and a half century. Remulac, the home planet of the aliens in the comedy sketches and film. The Coneheads. Rigel IV, the home planet of drooling aliens Kong and Kodos on the animated comedy The Simpsons. Rimmerworld, a planet populated by millions of clones of Arnold Rimmer who had spent 600 years alone on this planet, creating clones of himself in a failed attempt to create a girlfriend. From Red Dwarf. Shroob Planet, the assumed homeworld of the alien shroobs in the video game Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. Skyron, planet in the Andromeda Galaxy, home of immense blamanges, in a Monty Python's Flying Circus comedy sketch. Spaceball, planet of the Spaceballs, ruled by President Scroob in the movie Spaceballs, where it has no atmosphere. Sushi, a metafictional planet mentioned in Ed, Ed and Eddie, mentioned as the setting for the fictional horror film I Was a Teenage Appetizer from Planet Sushi, The Second Coming. Thargoidia, the homeworld of the Thargoids in the Captain Kremen series by Kenny Everett. The city of Gortadia is the planetary capital city. Thrib, a planet seen in an episode of Rex the Runt. The planet itself is merely an asteroid with a lecture hall at its north pole, and the inhabitants all resemble the Easter Island statues. Vega, in the film Spaceballs, the spaceship Eagle 5 crash lands on the desert moon of Vega after running out of fuel. Xenon, the home planet of Roger Wilco, janitor, in the humorous computer game series Space Quest. Yekik, home planet of protagonist, Koki from the Filipino series Koki at Ako. Yugopotamia, a comic opposite planet mentioned in the animated comedy The Fairly Oddparents. Topic books Comins, Neil F. What if the moon didn't exist? Gillette, Stephen. World Building. Writers Digest Books. Stableford, Brian. The Dictionary of Science Fiction Places. Topic. See also. Exoplanet Hypothetical planet Planetary habitability Terrestrial planet Topic. Similar fictions Fantasy world Fictional country Fictional universe List of fantasy worlds List of fictional planets by medium Solar system in fiction Stars and planetary systems in fiction Topic. Fan fiction Alternate universe Expanded universe Topic. References, <references>